We're going to continue on our series for the holiday DIYs and today we're going to be making um, recycling this coat that I've gotten for Torrid um, for over 10 years. Um, it has a hole in the lining pocket, a hole in the side. Um, the photos I'm showing are my inspiration and I'm going to make a nice little going out party coat out of this pea coat that is still good construction just you know has been worn and outdated. This is from a scale of one to five. This is two sewing machines of work. It's pretty easy. There's not a lot of technical needs to go into it. Just some measuring, some cutting, and then sewing. So I'm going to measure right at that third button of the coat. And that's going to be my marker on where I want the skirt, the tool skirt to sit. And then I'm going to measure that and use that measurement to create the um, line in the back since I don't have the button to mark on either side. Once I have my um, hem, my starting line marked out all around a coat, I'm going to take some tool. This is some tool that I had left over from some previous projects, and I'm going to pin that to the front of the coat, making sure not to go through the um, underside of the coat, the back of the coat. And I am just going to tuck, do some um, short pleats, probably like a half an inch pleat just to give it a little bit more volume because I do have um, a few yards of this black tool so I want to make sure I use it's probably like three and a half yards no more than four of this tool and I'm gonna do that all the all the way around the coat in the front as well as the back pinning down as I go And I do that around the coat um, about two or three times, but leaving the coat open so it can still function as a coat. Once I've done that, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to do some a top stitch all around the coat, making sure that I don't get any um, fabric caught up underneath it don't get the lining bunched up don't get the tool bunched up and try to sew this as straight and clean as possible since this will be sh shown on the outside of the coat and the more tool you have the better it would be really full and just fluffy um plus my tool was kind of old so if you have a newer tool it'll have a little bit more stiffness to it and mine's was kind of moving and bunching up because it was an older more softer tool and that's my grandma in the back. Everybody say hi, Granny. Um, next, I'm going to take this beautiful sequence um, jacket that I got from the thrift store. It's a kid sequence. And I'm going to add it to the collar and the cuff of the jet of the coat. First, I'm going to mark off my measurements and how wide the collar is. And then I'm going to mark off the measurements for the um, collar so I know how much fabric I need to cut. This is not completely necessary. You can just begin taking apart the jacket and just lay down straps of fabric and attach it. But I wanted to make sure that I didn't cut too much because I, there's another project I want to use this sequence jacket for. And this was an easy alternative than going to the fabric store and buying sequins. They can cost between anywhere between nine to twenty, thirty dollars a yard. Um, this sequin jacket was only six dollars. So I'm going to be taking apart the first on the sleeve and I'm not going to take my time seam ripping anything because it's sequenced and it's hard to see um, seam ripping will be take forever. I'm going to take that first sleeve and I'm going to lay it out on my collar, um, bringing it to close to the edge as possible. I'm playing around with the sequence to see how which way I want it to lay. And then I'm going to take this fabric glue. And I am going to pin down the fabric while I take this fabric glue and attach it. This is so that it lays 
flush and flat to the collar so it doesn't bunch and move around but I will be going all over my sequence areas to hand tack them with a sewing needle so that the edges are firmly secure this was just so everything will lay into place and flush to the fabric I wanted to seem like the collar itself was made out of sequence and not sequence attached to it once I have gotten that done I'm going to remove the excess um, sequence and then use that other half of that sleeve to attach to the other half of the collar so one sleeve helped me complete the, my entire collar and again you can see me here just um, pinning down the fabric pinning down the edges of the sequence just so that it helps um, lay flat and flush while it dries. And I give this about a day, probably 12 hours to dry before I go over with my hand needle and firmly secure it down. I then take the second sleeve and I am measuring out the 14, 15 inches needed to do the cuff for my sleeve on my coat and I'm gonna take that trim off what I don't need And then I am going to measure how wide I wanted the cuff. I made the cuff about um, three and a half inches wide. I wanted a nice statement cuff, but I didn't want a cuff too big or um, too small. And so that I cut the two necessary strips for the cuff. Being careful not to hack away at the sequence. That's what I was first doing. I had to um, sharpen my scissors. So I'm just cutting um, at the lining, the mesh lining itself and not the actual sequence. So again, I go over the same process, gluing down the sequence first um, around the cuff, the border, bringing it flush to the hem and the edge of the sleeve. So I'll give it time to dry. Again, I gave this about 12 hours to dry and then I'm going to come back and hand sew everything down. Just around the edges in the border um, so that it is nice and have a clean finish. You can see me here hand sewing the sequence down to the collar um, just so that it is firmly secure. So any pull or tugs or over time it does not start to lift up and come apart. So finally, I am going to take some scrap fabric of those two sleeves and I'm going to um, glue down the sequence to the buttons of the coat just for added sparkle, just for added fun so you can definitely see the sequence when the um, coat is closed. This project took me about two days to complete, maybe three, and that's because I had to work in segments of a few hours um, because of the job and the opportunity that I have, but this project is pretty much very simple, easy to explain. I'm so excited at how it came out. Um, this was definitely something I've been wanting to do for a while is to upcycle, remake this coat. 
And that's it, Styler. Here is the finished look. I threw um, the coat over this beautiful white dress that I got from Tord a few years ago, put on my sparkly tights and some bedazzled boots, and walk around the streets and found this little cute cobblestone street um, with all the Christmas decorations out. And just had a grand on time filming this look for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I hope you guys are excited about the holidays and look forward to other holiday videos coming soon. Um, thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your patience and understanding as i'm not um, able to get content out regularly but i will be back for more holiday content before 2020 i love you guys so very much um but always remember to love yourself fully until next time Why y'all like these streets over? Right. Why <laughs> they like this streets over? Cause it's cute. <laughs>